Hey there, welcome to day nine of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornell from here, sneaking a drink of coffee. While I make videos and do my COVID test today, I want to make sure that I got all that crud out of my body. I still feel a little yucky, but I think I'm on the upswing, definitely, as is the rest of the family. So today, what is our action item? What are we talking about? What are we doing? We are going to rate on a scale of one to 10, one being pretty awful, not so hot, 10 being awesome, our level of growth in the nine different areas of the life framework that we talked about yesterday, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, communication, and confidence. Now, one thing I found yesterday really, really interesting is I like to go back, and since I keep track of things and I document them, I went back and I looked at what's my ranking or my uh, priorities for the different areas and aspects now, right now, and then what was it last year at the beginning of the year? It wasn't the exact same day, but it was close to this time of year last year that I did this same exercise with respect to goals because we did the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge in 2023. And every day we did something to work on our goals. This year we're doing something every day to grow as a human being, as a person, as a whatever it is that we want to grow as. So I thought it was interesting. The areas that I rated the same and the areas that I rated really, really differently. Why? Because a whole lot of stuff happens every year. And where I was last year at the beginning of the year is very different than where I am at the beginning of this year. Although apparently in a couple areas, it's exactly the same. Uh, spiritual, financial, and those were the only two that were the exact same. And some of them were just totally different this year. And so that shows me things about myself. It shows I'm making progress in seven out of nine areas of my life, right? Or I'm, I feel like I'm making progress in those and that's what matters. So today's scale of one to 10, how would you rate your physical health and physical well-being and your growth in the area or the improvement in your physical wealth and well-being, well-being, well-being right now? Uh, and then do the same thing for your mental health and well-being, your emotional health and well-being, your spiritual, your financial, your relationships. Contribution means how am I contributing and, and to the rest of the world, to things outside of me. Spiritual are things inside of me or connection to a higher power. These are my definitions. You have to, of course, define these things for yourself uh, and what's included in each different category or area of this life framework for you. Uh, pretty much we define them similarly, but there might be things and tweaks that we put into different categories than other people do. And we have to do what's right for us, right? So on a scale of one to 10, how am I feeling physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially? I have not done mine yet, as you can see, but guess what? I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go sneak back in last year's book. And I'm going to say, all right, where was I on each of these last year? Why? Because again, it shows me progress and growth or lack thereof. And that's something I want to know right off the bat so that I know maybe I said financial is my second priority, but I haven't behaved that way. I would say it was my second priority last year and I didn't behave that way. And I want to make sure that I change that and that doesn't happen this year with respect to growth. All right. Any questions? Guide two of the Let's Grow private Facebook, Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group. You can find a write-up and, an, and a story. I believe it's I don't remember whose story it is today, but I, I did it yesterday, so I don't remember whose it is. But uh, got a story, somebody's story there that we can just learn from and see and, and grow from or see how they've grown. And uh, with respect to this particular topic, you know, what are your what are your rankings? How do you rate each of these different things? For you right now, guess what? By the end of the year, we're going to do this again. We're going to look at these again. And that's why I encourage us to write things down. Because guess what? I'm not going to remember what my priorities were even by March if I don't keep track of them and write them down, much less by the end of this year. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow.